the historicity of the resurrection of Christ. The amazing thing about the resurrection of our Lord is that it's amenable to historical investigation. And here I'd want to recommend to you The Case for the Resurrection of Jesus by Habermas and Lacona. What they do is they lay out a minimal facts case for the resurrection of Christ. And what they argue is that even if we didn't accept the Bible as inerrant, and by the way, I do accept the Bible as inerrant, but even if we were just to subject the Bible to the same historical scrutiny that other ancient documents are subjected to, there is a core number of facts that even critical scholars, even scholars who are skeptical about the Bible, even those scholars are forced to accept. And that is facts such as Jesus' death by crucifixion, Number two, the disciples sincerely held belief that he appeared to them. Number three, that Saul of Tarsus had sincerely come to believe that Jesus had appeared to him, and he was an enemy of the faith. Uh, fourthly, James, the brother of Jesus, who had been a skeptic, also came to believe that Jesus was raised from the dead. Fifthly, we might add a fact that maybe a few might dispute or some, some critical scholars want to push up against, but I think is also historically verifiable, is that there was an empty tomb. So if you just take the facts, I'm not saying arguing for the inerrancy of the Bible, which I believe we can affirm the inerrancy of the Bible, but just given the facts that even critical scholars are willing to admit, I think we have good grounds for believing that Jesus was raised from the dead. How so? When scholars have tried to come up with alternative explanations for the resurrection of the dead, such as the apparent death theory, hallucinations, and and other fanciful ideas, so many of these have fallen short, and they've even fallen short in persuading the majority of historical scholarship. And so, Historians sometimes just sort of throw up their hands and say, well, we, we're not sure what happened. But if you're open to the fact that God exists, then the best explanation for these facts is that Jesus rose from the dead. And entire volumes have been written defending the historicity of the resurrection of Jesus. Now, here's the interesting part. If we can historically verify that Jesus was raised from the dead, we also know that Jesus believed and taught the entire Hebrew Bible. The resurrection serves as the supreme vindication of Jesus' claims. So if Jesus was raised from the dead, I think that we too can have confidence in the entire Hebrew Bible. Archaeology might give us pieces here and pieces there that confirm our faith, but at the end of the day, if Christ was raised from the dead, and we know that he was, then we have confidence in the rest of the Bible as well, that we can rest assured that what God has given us is true indeed, because he has vindicated the claims of Jesus, who also held to the scriptures as well.